hello everyone uh, my name is dhananjay kumar and in this video we are going to learn component communication in angular you can find me on twitter at debug underscore mode let us start with understanding scenario in which components are not related to each other they are uh, independent to each other so when two components are not related to each other they talk to each other using angular services however in this video we are going to focus on component communication when two components are related to each other now if you use a component inside another component for example if you are using component b inside component a uh, then symbolically component a becomes parent component and component b becomes child component when you need to pass data from parent component to child component you use input decorator what does it mean that if there is a property on child component which is expecting data from parent component and when we say data means it could be an object or uh, other types like number string uh, so that property should be decorated with input decorator such that it can uh, get data from outside their child component which is parent component so let us see that how input decorator works to show you how input decorator works and how you can pass data from parent component to child component i have created a angular application using angular cli uh, and here you see in my uh, project i have two components one normal app component and then one video component it's a very simple component what all i am doing i'm using video component uh, inside app component here in line number four since i am using video component inside app component app component becomes parent component and video component becomes child component when i run this application i am getting a simple output here parent and child as you see in video component we have a property called child uh, title with value child and in parent component we have another property same property title with value app so very simple uh, application and in this we are going to see how input decorator works so on video component uh, this title property we want this value should be set from parent component and to do that what we need to do let us first give type to that uh, property and then you need to decorate that property with input decorator and input decorator is part of angular uh, angular core which you see that got added in line number one and here i am decorating it with uh, input decorator so now what we are uh, telling angular that hey i want value of this title property should be set from outside this video component now to set that value we are using it uh, in app component so go to app component here and since title is property of video component you need to use property binding and uh, syntax of property binding is uh, a square bracket so we'll say that title should be set to a uh, data or a property from parent component so for that we'll go to here and say get another property to pass that data let us say child title and this value is child data uh, as you uh, might have guessed that uh, this value can come from uh, api or anywhere however to keep it simple we are we are hard coding here and now we can pass this data right here so what we are doing that in line number 10 we have a uh, data in a parent component right now it is a string data and we need to pass this data to child component to do that in child component in line number 12 we created a property and then decorated decorating that with input decorator such that it can expect data from outside uh, this component and then when we are using it we are using property binding to set that data this is it and now when you go and run this application you see that data has been passed here which is child data uh, from parent component to a uh, child component we pass data from parent component to child component 
now assume that the data in parent component is changing and we want to intercept that right now we are just getting data and displaying it to intercept all the changes of data which is happening in parent component in the child component you need to work with ng on changes lifecycle hook of a component uh, we are not going to cover ng in changes uh, lifecycle hook in this video but just i wanted to give you a uh, introduction of that that whenever a uh, value of this input decorated property changes angular invokes ng on changes lifecycle hook of the component so you can intercept the changes of data and then work on that but uh, in, in other way what you can do you can use a setter and getter as well for first time to intercept the data so for example we want to intercept the value which is coming in this title property and then we want to uh, append some string uh, to uh, to the past data so to do that uh, uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to use setter and getter and how we can do that so let us say here we have this uh, title string we are going to make it as a as a as not as input decorator and we are going to use a setter called uh, set data okay and in this set data uh, let us say we are passing data as in since we are passing string from there so we can say aim string and then a getter also set data and this will return us this dot title and here what we are going to do we are going to say so that data is coming in m that hey this dot title is equal to that m and let us say we uh, we just appended something appended data in child and here we are doing that and now we want this setter should be invoked out, outside uh, this component to do that we will decorate that with input so now take this set data from here and property bind it here now when you run application here you see that you are getting child data and appended data in child so the first time also you can intercept data and for that what all you need to do you can use setter and getter and decorate your setter with input and you can uh, you can manipulate data before using that in child comp in child component we just saw that uh, how uh, we can use input decorator to pass data from parent component to child component we also saw that uh, if you want to intercept that data in child component before using it uh, we can use setter and getter and if data is keep changing in parent component means data is uh, of type observable or something in that case in child component we have a life cycle hook ng on changes so whenever value of uh, input decorated properties changes uh, on a component angular invokes ng on changes life cycle hook and we will cover that uh, uh, that topic in further video so we already know now how input decorator works now let us see that you need to uh, raise an event so there's an event which is in child component and you need to capture that in parent component you do that using output decorator uh, to put it in simple words assume that you have a button on a child component and uh, user is clicking on that button so you, when user clicks on that button a click event uh, uh, is getting raised and you want to call a function on click of a button of child component uh, from the parent component you will use output decorator for that so let us see that how we can work with output decorator here what we have done that on child component we have added a button and on click of that button we are calling this function child function a very simple uh, event binding on the button click this function is called now when you run this application here when you click on hey child you see here is that in console uh, that function is being called now what we want that when user clicks 
on this button instead of this function which is part of child component we want to call a function called parent function so we need to capture event which is being raised on a child component in a, a parent component to do that let us first go here and create a event so let us see we are calling that my event equal to new event emitter so what i am going to do i am i am creating object of event emitter and this event emitter is also uh, is is also part of angular code so make sure that sometimes visual studio code uh, like added at uh, import some different thing from different uh, modules which you don't want so here i imported event emitter from angular code okay and then i'm creating this event here object of that event now in this function when user clicks on that button this function will be called and here what i want that hey raise that event this dot my event dot emit so this event uh, this my event will be emitted whenever that button is called and since we need to capture it outside this uh, component we will decorate it with output decorator so what i have done again this output is part of angular core uh, what i have done here is that i'm creating a new event and decorating that with output decorator in line number 16 and we, when user clicks on the button on a child component we are emitting that event but right here in line number 20. keep in mind you can also uh, pass data from here uh, here to parent component as well so i can say that hey i am data from child you can pass object um, and other types as well so this data will also be passed to the parent component now to use it since my event is a uh, is an event we need to use event binding go here and say that do event binding and syntax of event binding is a small bracket my event equal to you want to call this function parent function so just parent function and then you pass the data with syntax event so now when you user clicks on the button this my event will be fired and you are handling that in parent function which is part of your parent component here right now i'm saying i am handled in parent so let us go and run this and as i click here you see that i'm getting output i am handled in parent now we are passing that data as well so i'll say that data and instead of this we can uh, display that data which is being passed from child component so now when you go and run this and click here you see that you are getting that value hey i am uh, data from child which we passed right from here keep in mind you can uh, pass object uh, as well uh, from ch uh, from uh, child component to parent component in your event emitter we just saw that uh, we can use output decorator to capture event from child component in a parent component next scenario is that you want to uh, read properties or call methods of child component in the template of parent component what does it mean that let us say you have a property called data or a method called uh, child function you want to call this child component uh, form method called child function on a click event of a button which is on the parent component or you just want to display that child component uh, property called data on template of parent component so here we are accessing everything from child component on the template of parent component and you do that using template reference variable so let us see how we can use template reference variable here on child component we do have uh, like property title and function like child function uh, in we want to access these on the parent component template so this how you can do that here on the parent component i have created a button and uh, on click of this button what we want we want to call event uh, function of child component 
here the child component is add video so to do that what you need to do you need to give a template reference variable name so i'm calling it a child app video this is a syntax take this here child app video and dot function name what you want which is child function in this case so child function also you can access normal data in interpolation same syntax take this template reference variable name dot and that is title so here that is title that's it in this way you can access all functions and properties of child component on the template of parent component uh, in angular if everything is correct oh the problem is i did a very small mistake you don't need to put it here only while creating this you need to put uh, you need to use has uh, in syntax of temporary reference variable now everything should be fine here you see that i have this parent button when you when i click on this parent button i am uh, getting this i am handled with child i am calling that uh, function and also here you see this title uh, uh, from child component is displayed in the in the parent component so this is very simple uh, uh, template reference variable which helps you to access properties and methods of child component on the uh, template of parent component so we just saw that template reference variable is used to uh, access methods and properties of child component in the template of parent component next scenario is that you uh, wish to access methods and properties of child component in the class of parent component uh, in that case you need to use view child and contain child also if you want to pass uh, html from parent component to child component uh, you need to use content projection uh, we are not covering view child and contain child in this video and uh, they are they are detailed topic and we'll cover that in next videos but these are very important topic in angular and as a, a good angular developer you must know them so in this video we covered input decorator which helps us to pass data from parent component to child component output decorator which uh, helps to capture events of child component in parent component then template reference variable using that you can uh, access and use properties and methods of child component in the template of parent component and in further video uh, we'll cover view child and con contain child content projection and services uh, keep in mind the services are used to uh, communicate uh, between two components when they are not related to each other uh, thanks for watching this video if you have any feedback feel free to reach us at hello at geek97.com or you can directly reach me at debug mode at outlook.com uh, please subscribe to this channel and if you are on twitter follow us on twitter our twitter handle is geek97 uh, and also uh, Geek97 uh, host India Angular conference called NG India, uh, which next is going to happen in February 2019. So you are uh, very welcome uh, in that conference. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it is useful for you.